What's up guys, it's Alex here, we're on my first F1 gameplay in a very long time because I haven't really had a need to post an F1 video since the last race of 2011 so this is just an online race I got about half an hour ago I hope you all enjoy it, it was actually a really close, fun race I think, even to watch I mean I had really quite a lot of fun playing it, so I hope you enjoy watching it That's just a quick thing before I start the gameplay if you'd go and like the like, um like the like like the Facebook fan page I'd really appreciate that because you know the sub box on YouTube fails quite often reg or often or regularly nowadays so if you know if you could go and like it that would be really really amazing I mean we've only got about 15 likes on there now but um you know, I'm sure there are some other people that can go and like it. So if you'd like to go and like it I'll leave the link down in the description I'd really really appreciate that so let's get into the comments in this video I'm going to quickly talk about F1 2012 and what I want for the game because you know I'm really anticipating the next F1 game as much as I am anticipating the next Call of Duty game I mean they're probably the only two games I'll get around to buying this year because you know I'm not going to be spending a lot of money on games so let's just quickly get into what I think about the um, F1 2011 and why I want F1 2012 to be an amazing game and all that sort of stuff I've got a list of things that I would want to have in F1 2012, and I'm just going to quickly go through them now. I think this, you know, if you'd like to leave a comment on some of the like, sort of the extra stuff you'd like, you know, apart from what I'm saying here, that would be really a, sort of amazing if you could put some, you know, put the comment down in the comment box. But um, yeah, so first off is the online. I think it needs to be more punishing to the sort of newbie players to crash into you all the time because it's really, really frustrating when you get sort of crashed off the road or hit off the road, and it's no fault of your own. You know, they just you know bam into the back of your car and you're, you're just like in the gravel you know they might get a 10 second penalty but really you know, they they deserve more because you've lost probably more than you know more than that and you can see there I ran really wide nearly got hit off myself but um yeah so I think you know maybe like a 25 second penalty for like the really really sort of stupid mistakes that people make maybe a 10 second penalty if you know if you only like tap them and you know you know, you know only lose them a little bit of time but um yeah so that's the first thing the second thing is that I think the career needs to be a lot more interesting because the five years that it goes on for now is really kind of boring because there isn't really any sort of change and I had this idea that what they could do is maybe they have different scenarios for different years because I can sort of use an example in F1, you know, in real life F1 2011. Um, Sebastian Vettel just ran away with it. He got like nearly twice as many points as Jensen Button in second place. He just had an amazing season. But they could have that scenario, and they could also have the other scenario, like in F1 2010, when it was really, really close. It went for five driving in the last two races that could have won the championship. And I think that would have made it a lot more. In well, that would make the career a lot more interesting if they had a lot of different scenarios for you know the cars to be, you know, all the cars and drives to be in. You know, like Mark Webber being like slower than his teammate one year, then he's faster the next year. Something like that would really, really be good. I mean, they do it in. I suppose they sort of do it now, but it's only sort of random. It's not really sort of structured. I think it might be a bit more fun if it was structured. But um, yeah. I also think the AI difficulty needs to be improved because the legend AI difficulty, which I play on a lot sort of nowadays, it's really actually not that hard to like race against. You I mean you can beat them pretty easily? I mean, if you go back and look at some of my videos on F1 2010, 20, 2011, like a couple of months back, you can see that I did. I was doing pretty well in like a Williams. I think I got like a fourth place in a Williams, and you know that was on legend difficulty. I don't really ever play off legend difficulty. I think maybe if they upped the difficulty, it would make the game a lot more interesting and maybe a lot more sort of you know over a long period of time it would be a lot more fun. So if they can do that, that would be amazing. And um, there's just one last thing I want to talk about what I'd like in F1 2012. So lastly, I think it would be a good idea to feature in some more game modes online and maybe in single player because I only ever play two game modes online and that is sprint like 99% of the time and about like 1% of the time I play Grand Prix but I never really ever play the other two and you know if they'd feature in some more like maybe just sort of fun ones where you don't have to you know push to the limit I think it would make the game sort of last a bit longer so um, yeah that's pretty much the end of the F1 2012 sort of you know what I'd like from the game, and sort of maybe as it sounds like a bit of a rant, but you know, you know, don't take that offensively if you like the game. But um, yeah, just a quick thing. I think I might stop Forza Friday. And, you know, there's only a little bit of the gameplay left, but um, might stop Forza Friday because I don't really, I'm not really enjoying it because they all just end up being update videos, and you know, I'd rather do stuff like this, which is a bit more entertaining. Also, thank you for a hundred subscribers on the community channel. You know that that was going been going really well. I've been promoting it recently, and it's been going really well. And um, if you'd like to leave a like on this video, that'd be awesome. But thank you for watching, guys. Have a great day. It's been Alex, and uh, I'm out of here.